Kira 2K. That's how you pronounce it. I think. Notice this little black thing that I have clipped to myself here. It is a little clip on microphone because I've realized that the audio that is coming from my phone isn't exactly the greatest. Um, the last video that I filmed was the Amanda collaboration and I filmed the beginning part off of my iPhone, which is what I'm currently using right now. And it's kind of like an old one. So it's not got the best microphone or anything. So I have done a little bit of research and I have got myself this little microphone thing it's a let me grab the bag <laughs> it's a little purple panda thing and I would greatly appreciate if you help me out with this guys like if you could like let me know what you think about this audio I hope I've set this up right all it said in the instructions was to like plug it into the phone which is what this wire is right now leading up to you <laughs> you're balanced on top of a chair so try not to move you too much <laughs> so i'm hoping just because it's a plug and go style thing that this is now working and if i go test one two test one two to the microphone maybe tap it a few times maybe there's a difference that you can hear this is purely experimental and i would absolutely love some feedback or some suggestions suggestions i completely chewed that word up i'm sorry we're gonna take this nice and easy we're gonna do an unboxing now the thing that I have got here is a big, big, big pan of paint. And I know that these things are beautiful. Like I've fallen in love with them and I cannot wait to open up this big bad boy and swatch each and every single one of them. I wanna put it all in there so that we can just launch straight into watercolory illustrations in the future because I love playing with these guys. I switch between these, the watercolor pencils and Copics all the time. I don't know which is really my favorite. I do love them all. So it's a little bit of a dabble. I had this beautiful watercolor Keratuke pearlescent set given to me from Amanda in one of our early collaborations back in Easter, I think. I think I found that back in April. If I can find the video link, I will leave it in the description below and remind myself to put a pop-up up, up in whichever corner this ends up playing back on. Somewhere above. Somewhere above there will be a pop-up for you guys. Slightly digressing, loved those things. So I bought like the smaller version and did like miniature unboxing and I wasn't sure on them. But the more I use them, the more I really like them, the more confident I'm feeling with them. While they are kind of expensive for what they are, they're also not in the grand scheme of things. Like they are better than some of the little sets that I've had in the past and they're not as expensive scary as they, and I'm gonna butcher this name too, the Schmink Schmink. You know what, I'm gonna butcher this name to a point where it could sound really rude. So I'm just gonna pop up a picture of the brand on the screen right now. That is the paint set that I'm trying to say and I'm too scared to now pronounce it in case I say something that I shouldn't. <laughs> so <laughs> I wanted a paint set that I could play about with but yet yeah, be quite good on the paper. If I want to sell that piece of original art, I would feel okay about it instead of being like, ah, oh, dude, I painted it with absolutely <laughs> watercolor. I don't want to sell this to you or I painted this with so so much expensive watercolor that I don't want to part with it because it feels too precious. Ah, you know, that sort of like weighing scales. You know what? I have been messing around with this chat for too long. Let's do it before I lose the light because it's England and it's currently half three. So the light will be gone very soon. So <laughs> we're gonna take advantage of the daylight light. Daylight light light. Okay, I've opened the box. I think it's page of a Japanese magazine. Is it an advert? Is it a flyer? I think it's a Japanese ad. I know we get like British versions of these, but I find this completely compelling to have a look at. Here we go. Ooh. The piece of ad that I just showed you was on top and then there was a thing that we're actually unboxing. Kurituke. That's how you pronounce it. I think it's right here. This is what we're after. 
in the lovely beautiful box which we will have a look at shortly but I also just got completely wowed by Japanese newspaper I presume it's Japanese I'm just being curious at this point like what what was sent here we have the sports pages we've got rugby football karate and a really cute ad with a duck or a chick look at him i love japanese adverts this is what we are here though for guys this is the karajuki so we have this beautiful box in fact i think you need a bit of re-angling right now somewhere there is good so we've got this beautiful like limey fresh cover it's got this beautiful guild and again i can't read this but i'm gonna go ahead and presume that it says keratuke which is what was on the label on the back so if we go ahead and flip this over and open this bad boy up da, 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 da. i can give you guys the first look so um oh wow oh my gosh they are beautiful look at the pigmentation on those guys Okay, so what I was saying oh well about is not only are these paints incredibly pigmented, like even just sitting in here, obviously this isn't what they're gonna look like on paper, but you get a good sense of what the color is. It's protected by this plastic sheet. So you know they're going to be looked after. And I presume you can keep this to just put over the top to protect your paints. Look at these beautiful pans. Oh, oh, the cable stuck. Look at these beautiful pans and how absolutely crisp and beautiful they look. Really wish I'd done my nails at this point. But it looks like you can lift the pan out. But check this out, guys. Look how thick these bad boys are. You really get a lot of bang for your buck with these. Okay, what I also said a while about is that on the inside of the lid we have space for testing out each of these colours so that you can literally swatch these on here to find out what they actually react like on paper. The, my only slight reservation with this is that you can tell that this isn't really watercolour paper. This is literally a sticker that's been stuck on. So I might actually still do it on here, but I like the idea of having maybe swatches of these actually on the paper that I'm going to be using most of the time. So it's more of a true, accurate representation. So let's get into it. So here we are guys, back at the desk, ready to go. So I was curious to see which colours were actually within my smaller set and how they sat within the bigger set. So I was just trying to see what was missing and why they made those choices. And I guess it was just so you could have an all round kind of feel for the paints, which did a good enough job to make me want to buy the big set. So, you know, job done. The paper I'm using to swatch on is the Windsor and Newton that uh, I got from a collaboration with Amanda. I have never used paper like this before Amanda sent it to me and honestly if you guys have it in your budget to go from a middle range mixed media to a decent watercolour paper I would say make that jump. It is so worth it. Between the really nice way the paints felt going onto that paper and the, how the paper reacted with the paints and as it dried, I love the combination of the two together. I just feel like this is the way forward that I'll be going from here on out for watercolours. I have tried many other types of watercolours over the years and honestly, so far, this has been the winner. So like any swatches, I would advise if you don't, I mean, if you do do swatches, there's a lot of swatches out there that like to swatch, always write the names and their numbers next to the actual swatch so you have a decent reference. And just like I was worried about the sticker on the inside of the lid, didn't react as well as the paper and that's just because sticker paper isn't usually great for drawing on or colouring on or in this case painting on. It sort of turned out more dusty which is exactly why I wanted to do the actual swatching on paper. 
If you guys are painters too and you enjoy watercolours, I'm very, very curious to find out what watercolours you guys prefer and why. So feel free to write on that down in the section below. Maybe we could share some brands and bounce some ideas as far as that stuff goes. So guys, if you like this video, please remember to give it a nice big thumbs up, share us the love and let me know that you liked it. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to join the Arty family and also hit the little notification bell to stay in the loop. Thank you guys for watching. Love you all. See you all next time. Bye guys.